Hello everyone and welcome back to our universe. Today we'll be answering the question, what is astronomy? But before I start, I just want to say clicking the subscribe button really grows the channel and just shows me that the content that I'm making is making the channel go in the right direction. So clicking subscribe really helps me out and thank you for the support. So anyway, let's jump right in and talk about astronomy. Mankind has looked up to the heavens since the start of civilization, searching to put a meaning and an order and understanding to the universe that we live in. Astronomy is a branch of science that studies outer space. This focuses on celestial bodies such as stars, comets, planets and galaxies. Early astronomers noticed patterns in the sky and attempted to organize them in order to track and predict their motion. These are known as constellations, and these patterns help people from the past to measure the seasons. The movement of the stars and all the other heavenly bodies was tracked around the world, but especially in China, Egypt, Greece, Mesopotamia, Central America, and India. Galileo Galilei made major improvements to the telescope, and this allowed close observations of the planets. He made many discoveries, including four major satellites of Jupiter, known as the Galilean moons, and later discovered spots on the Sun, which of course are called sunspots. Johannes Kepler was a famous astronomer and mathematician, and he came up with the planetary laws of motion, and these describe how the planets orbit around the Sun. Then Isaac Newton came along and explained the physics behind the solar system, he was using the laws of celestial dynamics and gravitation. These days modern astronomy is done from observatories from remote telescopes on the ground or in space, and these are controlled by computers. And these allow astronomers to study computer generated data and images. Astronomy is the study of the sun, moon, stars, planets, comets, gas, galaxies and dust and any other non-earthy bodies and phenomena. Astronomy and astrology were actually associated historically, but astrology is not a science, and it is no longer recognised to have anything to do with astronomy. Historically, astronomy was focused on the observations of heavenly bodies. Basically put, astrophysics involves the study of the physics of astronomy and concentrates on the behaviour, properties and motion of the objects in the universe. However, modern astronomy includes many elements of the motions and characteristics of these bodies, and the two terms of astronomy and astrophysics are used interchangeably today. Modern astronomers tend to fall into two fields, the theoretical and the observational. Observational astronomers is often what we think about when we think of astronomy. This is observing the celestial objects of outer space, such as stars, galaxies and planets. There are actually types of observational astronomy, and they are divided up to how the objects are being observed. These include everything from basic light, light that we can see with our eyes, to radio waves, infrared, x-rays, gamma rays, microwaves and ultraviolet observations. Theoretical astronomers are in the area of astronomy scientists using mathematical models to better describe what we have just observed in the universe. And even to describe events that we cannot even observe with our current technology. Unlike most fields of science, astronomers are unable to observe a system entirely from birth to death. For example, stars and galaxies span millions if not billions of years so there is no way to observe them from birth to death. So therefore, theoretical and observational astronomy tend to blend together, and then theoretical scientists use this information to create simulations, and then they use these simulations to gain a better understanding of the universe that we live in. Astronomy is broken down into a number of subfields. This allows scientists to actually specialise in particular objects and phenomena, Planetary astronomers is an area of astronomy that is focused on learning about planets, moons, asteroids and comets. From this we can learn how the planets and other objects were formed, 
and what they are actually made of. There are scientists that just focus on our sun, and this is called solar astronomy. This can be a very important field of science, as the sun's activity is a major impact on the Earth. Stellar astronomy is the study of stars, including how they were formed, and what they are made of, and what the life cycle of a star actually is. This includes various types of stars and their final state, including interesting objects like red giants, black holes, supernovas, and neutron stars. Galactic astronomers study our galaxy, the Milky Way, whilst extragalactic astronomers peer outside of our galaxy to determine how the collections of stars form, change, and die. Cosmologists focus on the universe in its entirety, from its violent birth of the Big Bang to its present evolution, all the way to its eventual death. Astronomy is often about very concrete observational things, where cosmology typically involves large-scale properties of the universe, and these properties of the universe can be sometimes puzzling, if not invisible. For example, like string theory, dark matter, and dark energy, and the notion of multiple universes. Astronomical observations rely on different wavelengths of the electromagnetic spectrum, and this is to study a wide range of objects in the universe. But as light waves become less or more energetic, they move slower or faster. More energetic radiation has shorter wavelengths, so they appear in the form of ultraviolet, X-rays, and gamma rays. The less energetic objects emit longer wavelengths, and these are in infrared and radio waves. These spacecrafts and probes that go to the edge of our solar system can turn around and take a picture of our beautiful yet fragile planet. And this just shows us that we are just simply a small dot on a massive scale that is known as our universe. Astronomy is a very important part of our modern society. It gives us a great view of our natural environment, and gives us a great understanding into maths and physics that we can use in our present day society. Astronomy also gives us a great chance to explore things. In a universe that's full of mysterious and unknown objects, this place just has too many surprises for us. So I hope that's given you a great insight into what astronomy is, different types of astronomy, and how it helps us understand the universe. And as always, if you've enjoyed the video, click the like button, and if you want to support the channel, click subscribe. Thank you for watching.